Virtual Twin Experience is about combining three levers. Level number one is the most advanced representation of the product, the factory, or the company. That can be 3D, of course, but that can also be system models or ontology. It's a representation. Level number two is all of the data, real-world data, that we are capturing from many systems and that we are projecting on the virtual twin. And level number three are the people and the processes, the collaboration. If I reformulate that, representation and data, I could do a simple analogy. This is like Google Maps. And uh, if I give you two Excel spreadsheets, one with location of restaurants and another one with locations of flower shop, and I ask you to find a flower shop nearby your restaurant, it's difficult. But if you go on Google Maps, it becomes obvious. Now think about that in the context of the most advanced product that companies are manufacturing, an aircraft as an example. And you have corrosion data, you have simulation data, you have stress data, they're all coming from different systems. As soon as they get projected on the virtual twin of the aircraft, they become contextualized by nature. So this is the power of model and data. When I talk about collaboration, this is about eliminating emails. If you find ideas, if you find risks, if you find opportunities, and the next thing you do is send an email, then you've lost traceability and efficiency. So the fact that you have the people, the processes, the data, and the most advanced representation in one place is what makes Virtual Twin experience so different.